Okay, moving along. Now is the time to present the SEMA Awards in the Internet category. Okay, presenting the awards in the Internet category is Jack Jedwab, Executive Director of the Association for Canadian Studies and the newly established International Association for the Study of Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Jedwab. We firmly believe that you can understand Canada without understanding its diversity and multiculturalism. We do surveys very frequently at the Association for Canadian Studies. We commissioned one recently with the firm Leger Marketing, and it found that three in four Canadians react very positively when they hear the word multiculturalism. I won't say anything about the one in four that don't react positively this evening. Uh, but one thing I do know from having traveled uh, across the globe, uh, much of the rest of the world does appreciate and wants to know more about how we address our diversity and multiculturalism. I know there's some people in the globe who want to strike the word from our vocabulary, right? but let me assure them that multiculturalism is Canadian, and it's a great word. I have the uh, good fortune of presenting the winner of the internet category, Paul Nguyen. Paul has dedicated his life to fighting against racism and removing cultural barriers. His story is an inspiration to thousands across Canada. Please roll the video. I'm very happy and very proud to be able to be honored with this award. Uh, what it means to me and the website is that what, is that what we're doing is working and that uh, you know our journalism that we cover for the Jane Finch community and we focus on the positive things and it just goes to show that you know no matter how big or small the camera you have in our case it's a small camera that you can have an impact in your community the national response for the website has been tremendous uh, I mean I would say that the website's also known internationally because Jane Finch is known internationally you know a lot of people can relate to the website because uh, you know it's kind of like an underdog story and you know we try to promote Jane Finch in a positive way and um, it's it's been great I'd like to continue on with the, the website janefinch.com but also more I want to explore my own community which my own background is Vietnamese and I want to basically do the same thing that I've been doing with Jane Finch with this news entertainment type website but now I want to do something for the Vietnamese community and focus on you know second generation Vietnamese Canadians and tell their stories. I think what the world needs right now is for more people to be engaged to, to be engaged with their communities, to share the positive stories, get to know each other, uh, share their own cultures, and basically everyone, to have everyone to connect with each other because that way you will eliminate discrimination, racism, and you'll promote you know, a better, more diverse culture and understanding and everyone will be happy and that's the goal. I am deeply humbled by this great honor. I must thank the Canadian Ethnic Media Association for recognizing the importance and journalistic integrity that my website, janefinch.com, has offered to the community. It is a tremendous validation of the work and stories that emanate from ethnic journalism. There are many beautiful things about my community, the rich multicultural diversity, the proud hardworking residents, all present a compelling tapestry of life and of richness that Jane and Finch has to offer to the world. As a kid growing up there, I faced a constant barrage of discrimination, of being stereotyped by outsiders. When you meet someone for the first time, the topic of where are you from would rear its ugly head. Now most people, I would imagine, wouldn't hesitate upon hearing that. But if you are from a community with a bad reputation, you think, oh great, how should I answer that? Because when you answer Jane and Finch, people automatically put up their guard. They clasp their purses. They keep an extra eye over you. <laughs> it's rather silly. It's also embarrassing. But it's definitely not pleasant. I wanted to change all of that. So I created janefinch.com to highlight and share positive stories from the community. I made it my commitment to cover all of the important events, cultural events, social events, anything, you name it. Unlike the mainstream news media, when a positive event happens in the community, janefinch.com is there. Now, how is SEMA and janefinch.com related? 
Well, we are both groups coming from ethnic backgrounds whose desire and mission is to promote multiculturalism and the sharing and understanding of each other's heritage. I think it is of great importance to document and preserve cultural uniqueness. We must share with each other that is the only way to destroy racism. In closing, I am eternally grateful to SEMA for providing opportunities to ethnic journalists to ply their trade, to express their individuality, and to be recognized in our larger society. To all, thank you again, and keep fighting for what you believe in. Thanks.